Hello, I'm David Wilkinson, and I'd like to introduce the researcher of my lab and discuss the aims of a PhD project. So I've been fascinated throughout my research career in the process of embryo development, how it is that a single cell of a fertilised egg gives rise to a complex pattern of cell types and tissues. And this is what my lab studies, in particular focusing on the early steps of uh, development of a central nervous system, using the zebrafish as a, an amenable model organism. So my lab comprises of six postdocs and three students, and they're studying two main questions. The first question is uh, how it is that cell differentiation is controlled. How do progenitor cells um, decide to differentiate down a particular pathway to form neurons in the central nervous system? And we're studying a number of molecular mechanisms that control that transition. The second question is how is it that tissue organisation is formed and stabilised? In particular, how is it that sharp borders form between different tissues and between regions within tissues that will go on to form different sets of cell types? And the formation of these sharp borders is critical in order that you form tissues that have a distinct identity and regions that have a distinct identity. And we want to understand how it is that cell migration is controlled to prevent intermingling between these different regions. So the PhD project is concerned with this uh, second question, how it is that cell mixing is prevented uh, between adjacent regions within a tissue. Until recently it was thought that the main mechanism by which this is prevented uh, involves differential cell adhesion, in which cells which have a strongest adhesion for each other will cluster together, rather like a separation that occurs when you mix oil and water. What we discovered uh, some years ago was a distinct type of mechanism involving signalling between cells mediated by F receptors and their ligands called the efferins. When F receptor and efferin cells meet, uh, they bind and activate each other and this leads to a cell response. And what we showed is that um, F receptors and efferins will trigger the segregation of different cell populations to form a sharp border between them. The aim of a PhD project is to try to understand the downstream signalling of the F receptors and efferins that's involved in this separation of cells. And we know that this is absolutely critical for embryo development. And when it goes wrong um, in, in tumours, uh, this is what underlies the metastatic spreading of, of cancer cells. So the strategy that we have taken is to develop uh, an in vitro assay in the tissue culture dish in which F receptor expressing and efferin cells are mixed and we find that this leads them to separate and, and form a sharp border. And we have used this in vitro assay to uh, first to discover the genes which are um, activated downstream of F receptor and efferin signaling and also to uh, address uh, by doing gene knockdowns what their role is in, in border formation. We can then take those genes that we've discovered in the in vitro assay and analyse their roles in vivo using the zebrafish hindbrain as the, uh, as, as the main test of, of role, roles of genes in border formation. So the PhD project will use this powerful combination of the in vitro assay and the in vivo test of their roles in zebrafish. So the zebrafish is a fantastic model organism for these studies, um, firstly because uh, the embryo is transparent and this enables us to readily image the migration of cells in, in vivo in developing embryos. And uh, the second reason why it's a great system is because there are increasingly powerful techniques for manipulating the functions of genes. For example, there's a technique called GAL4UAS, which enables us to upregulate the expression of, of any transgene that we wish in specific hindbrain segments in order to test their function. Recently, we've also developed uh, another technique, which is called BrainBow. It's a technique first developed in mouse embryos that we have now established in zebrafish. What this does is to um, be able to transgenically label cells with different fluorescent colours. And this enables us to more easily follow their migration and also to follow their lineage as, as they differentiate in the developing embryo. So it will be this powerful combination of the in vitro assays and these in vivo tools for studying gene function that will be used in the PhD project.